And well, so this is gonna be a very, very quick tutorial on how to export multiple tracks at the same time onto a file on Logic. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because of, I had a very irritating issue um, of being able to export my own personal timeline. So I was like, let me just, you know, do a tutorial quickly, even though it's not what I would usually do, just to show you how I solved the issue because I was Googling it, I was YouTubing it, I just, I just couldn't find what I needed. So here we are on Logic, you open Logic up, that's the first thing to do. As you can see, audio one, and then this is audio two, three, four, I have a whole timeline, probably like 10 different outputs. Um, if I just show you like a bigger picture of my timeline and multiple tracks on this timeline. So if you just zoom in again. So what we're gonna do is click on this button at the top that looks like a little loop diddy loop. Um, it will probably select some or maybe it will start off at the end of your timeline wherever it is But wherever this thing ends up basically you drag it To however far you want it to cover your project. So however much you want to export uh, you drag it up until then so If you want to export your whole project you will drag it to the end of the last sound clip you have which would for me obviously be um, Here However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to export the whole thing because that will take a little bit of time. So I'm just going to pull it back all the way to the beginning and just export the first couple beats, okay? So now that I've sorted out what place I'm trying to export, you literally just press Command B. That's it. And it'll bring up this panel. Um, on this panel, you can choose where you want the destination of whatever to be. Um, and then you can also choose... I guess look at the you know file format resolution simple uh, sample rate file type etc so i didn't really touch anything over here other than the bit made it 24 instead of 8 because it gives it a, you know the quality better quality when it you get um, a higher bit rate is what i heard and then the file type make sure it's interweaved or interleaved <laughs> interleaved okay cool so make sure it's selected as that um, and then when you see the mode on the left hand side here um, I just clicked real time um, just because I want my thing to export exactly how it is real time what's on my thing and then on this little button here where it says normalize you can click you know on an option on or overload protection overload protection only so Basically, you you can choose which one you want. I chose to keep it off because apparently I heard that it kind of like caps your peak level if you click on overload protection only. However, I don't want it to cap my peak level. I've already leveled up my sound. I don't have an issue with it and I don't want it to mess up with the settings that I put on. So I'm just going to keep mine off. Um, and then it just tells you how big the, however many megabytes it's going to be. Cool. Right. That's done now. So you click OK. And... Once you click OK, you, it chooses, it asks you to save it. So I'm just going to write um, tester voice reel. Cool. And um, let me just reel just so I can see it when it exports in the folder clearly. Then you click on bounce. Obviously, you select where you want it. I'm going to keep it in logic. Then you click on bounce. And then it starts playing, actually. So I'm just going to lower this down. Um... Lower it all the way down. So right now it's bouncing, which means it's exporting. So by the end of it finishing bouncing, you should be able to um, access your file with the multiple tracks playing on it. So I'm just going to sit here and wait until it finishes bouncing, which should be any minute from now. And then I'm going to show you where it is in my folder. So it's finished bouncing. Excellent. That was nice and quick. So I'm going to minus this. I'm going to type in logic uh the folder that i chose to save it in if i scroll uh this is why i saved it in cap locks and i still can't find it you see what i'm talk talking about <laughs> here it is <laughs> so voice over real so play it and it should overlap with the multiple tracks that you have decided as you can see you can hear my voice you can hear the, the music beat they were on two separate tracks which means it exported multiple um, the multiple tracks onto one file. So that's that, guys. That was very simple, very quick. As I said, I've only used Logic for three days, which is why I was like, let me show you guys, because if I had an issue 
finding out and someone told me about this shortcut and I was like, it's perfect. Let me just show you guys whoever else is struggling to, to find it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe and see you guys later.